green lemonade. Everybody, Coach Gary is back in LA. Sure am. And the first thing that we're doing is getting back on the green juices, heavy duty. So what are you making today, Gary? I'm making a green lemonade. This is, we learned this recipe from Luan Panessi and Gary Noll from the OPA program that we did two years ago. And uh, this is a delicious green juice. Uh, we got a lot of things in here. Right now I'm juicing apples, uh, four apples. Uh, we've also put in a stalk of, um, well, a bunch, I guess you call it, of celery. I put in two heads of kale, two bunches of kale. Also put in some mint. Some mint is lovely, especially in the summer. It adds a nice, refreshing flavor to it. I also uh, put in some parsley, two bunches of parsley. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, no, we're going to put some lemon. That's like the most important part. How many? Um, I'm going to put like ideally four lemons, but we only have like two and a half here, so it's going to have to do. But we're, I think we're going to put the whole lemon in there with lemon peel and everything. And uh, so, as you can see right here, well, what I'm using is I'm using an Omega, is it an Omega 3000 or Omega 8000 juicer? Know the name? I think it's a 3000. Yeah, Omega 3000 juicer. This is a really great juicer. Um, as you can see, it's got like a ma a huge engine on it, which is really very, very important for juicing greens because you need a lot of power to basically to like um, to turn the to get all the uh, the juice out of the greens. And this is a, I think it's called a machinating juicer because what it actually does is it presses against kind of a grill. To like to get all the juice out, so it's not operating at a high speed because sometimes I think the high speed juicers, what they can do is they can actually damage some of the like the integrity of the phytonutrients from the from the high speed whirling. So this is a very slow moving juicer, but it's very very effective. I've had this juicer for probably about five years now, and um, it's got um, it's got some pretty heavy use. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm making a big juice here. It's going to take me about an hour to make this juice. As you can see here, I'm getting a lot of juice out of this. And so what I'm going to do after I've, I've finished making this, i got a, like maybe a couple apples to go, is I'm going to then take this juice and I'm going to put it in smaller containers. Something like, like this. Um, and then I'll put this in the freezer and I'll freeze most of the juice. And then it's like super convenient then because then you only have to do like a green juice like once a week. And then you can just pull the juice out of the freezer the night before and then by the afternoon it's ready to drink. And the great thing about then having a green juice every afternoon is this. Is I don't know if you ever get this feeling but about, um, about 3 o'clock do you ever feel like you're like you have a dip in energy where you need to get some coffee or you go reaching for some chocolate and that's what kind of most people do especially at their work and what we learned from uh, Gary Null and Luan Panessi in the OPA program is your body is actually transitioning at that time from a kind of a, a building phase into like a detoxing phase so that's why we feel so strange at three o'clock in the afternoon so there's a couple of things to help you get through that phase number one is having a big green juice and if you're not green juicing every day you should be green juicing every day it's clearly the best way to detox your body and to get the um, to make your body more alkaline and to fill your body with phytonutrients I mean if you take a look at this right here this whole thing here is just going to um, you know it's going to fill your whole body with uh, with chlorophyll more oxygen and it's going to fight off all kinds of like um, cancer causing cells so um, green juices are really, really essential, I think, in a kind of a holistic health regimen. And then um, you have a green juice, you have a, maybe a green tea in the afternoon and have a short little nap or a 10 minute, like, you know, put your head down for 10 minutes of work and then you're ready to go on for the rest of the afternoon in a healthy way rather than, you know, um, getting a ton of coffee and chocolate in you. Not to say that coffee and chocolate aren't very tasty or not effective, but, you know, I think when you honestly start learning about a health protocol, you learn, like, healthier ways to get the same results. So, hopefully you'll try this recipe, and um, we'll talk soon. Where do you find it? Uh, the OPA program, OptimalPerformanceAthlete.com. So here we are with the finished product, green lemonade, 
OPA to your health. To your health. We love you. It's great.